Hey guys, welcome back. Um, a video I want to do that I get asked about a lot about doing mushrooms. And I've talked many times before because I get emails all the time want me to do four do mushrooms. I will not. I'm not comfortable because I want everyone to be safe. And I feel like when it comes to stuff with mushrooms, you need to have a hands-on or really know because I just feel like that's more of a safety thing. So I'm going to talk to you about a mushroom, but... I'm not talking to you about foraging it. I want to talk to you and there's a very specific reasons I, I wanted to bring this up now and I decided to do this video. Now, it's really easy to identify one, so that's not a thing, which is lion's mane mushrooms. And But you can get that in like powder, capsules, tinctures, um, teas, you can get them dried. There's lots of different ways that you, and they're edible, they have medicinal purposes, everything like that, okay? So I'm gonna leave some information um, in the description. And I do wanna go over, like, there's kinda, you know, three compounds in it, and it's uh, beta-glucans, which is your immune boosting. And then I'm gonna go into more detail. Um, Hera um, Sinon, which is your nerve regrowth and repair, okay? You'll understand when I'm going, when I um, get into the details of this. And um, aronicin, which is the neurological, what's well, a neuroregeneration type of benefits. I'll say that. So, like I said, um, with this lion's mane mushrooms, different forms you can take it on and or eat it, incorporate it in your diet. I've talked about doing that many times with other things. Is it's a powerful antioxidant and a very powerful anti-inflammatory. Now, why this is coming up? There is a lot that has been and continuing to go on and it's changing. I had a bit of that in the beginning of January. Different effects, different lasting effects than earlier on. But some of, I mean, it covers earlier on also, okay? But, you know, I've talked about getting more and more contact about these these problems from it. The, the lasting problems. And it could be from the illness, it could be from different exposures, it could be if things have gone in and, you know, things like that. So this has a lot of positive benefits for all those things, okay? And look into it. And of course, if you've never, if you're allergic to any mushrooms, you don't use these things. That's just common sense. You don't. If you never had it before, do a skin patch test. Do, do different things to test it out first. So for your brain, um... You know, it's actually, that's one of the biggest, that's probably the biggest thing um, lion's mane mushroom is known for is cognitive things, you know, memory things, sharpness. If you're having that brain fog, people who have Alzheimer's or helping from that happening or, or progressing into worse. That, you know, even people with MS, because of the um, neurodegenerative stuff that this benefits it has, that's something good. Um, when I say CNS, central nervous system, I talk about that for different things. Any, any of this type of nerve damage from many different, nerve damage can, from many different things, even before the last couple of years. But this is why I, I feel it's very important I bring this up because that's happening. You see what I'm saying? So the communication and repair of new nerve growth in repair of that okay that's vitally important and helping with some of these issues that are, are going on I talked about it's an overall anti-inflammatory it's really good for inflammation because it gets rid of oxidation oxidation stress we get in as I talk about those two things are a perfect you know environment for things to take hold or start or grow like the big C and things like that and oxidative stress look up what if you have oxidation, stress, different things in you, free radicals, look up those symptoms, okay? And you may be like, oh my gosh, I have this. This is what's going on because, you know, I talked about when we were, we had that beginning in January, I said it wasn't like, oh, the flu or respiratory or congestion or anything like that. It was the inflammation and the brain fog and the fatigue. And I, I you know, I talk about, you know, know your body listen to it, be in tune with it. And I knew what was going on. And, um, it's just, we're seeing a lot of that. And if you don't get that taken care of, you're setting your body up to have other things, um, progress from that, not be taken care of. 
So this is also really good for preventive or past stroke issues. Okay. It, um, you know, it, cause it's a neuroprotective. It has the, it repairs. It has the, as far as inflammation that's in the brain or any whole body things, just a benefit. You know how I am about preventive care. Okay. Again, with the fatigue that has been lasting, this is another good one for that because it has antioxidants in it. If you don't have, you know, good antioxidant stuff and all that is building up and it's not getting out of your body, it can cause fatigue, that sluggishness, that low energy feeling. So this may be very helpful. Um, let's see, um, heart health is good for circulation and, um, you know, I might just get a strike, but it's what it is, you know, preventing because it's good for heart health and circulation, which can help people prevent them from getting um, clots, which what comes from clots, what, you know, what transpires from that. Um, GI health, if you have like ulcers or a leaky gut, um, any gut inflammation, people who have H. pylori, H. pylori, if you have um, ulcers, you have H. pylori. And a lot of people have that. They don't realize it. That can help. So anything bacterial or viral that is holding on, taking hold, is in your gut, this is going to, even candida, yeast and stuff like that, in your GI tract, lion's mane is going to help that, which also will help protect your liver. And I've talked many times about why protecting and supporting our liver, our lymphatic system, anything like that is, is important because it's constantly work and a lot of times more and more now it's overworked it's taxed it can get sluggish it has these issues and so we want to constantly it doesn't have to be a big heavy detox but you want to give that supportive care and things like i've talked about i've talked about that before like you know dandelion or milk thistle different things like that you want to help you know liver kidneys lymphatic system um I think I may end up doing something about lymphatic massages, how to kind of drain those properly. And, you know, dry, I may do a video on all that because um, we're seeing more more of those being clogged and overworked and things are lingering longer or it's just like your body, just, people's body is kind of like, I can't do anymore. I am so overworked as it is. I, and that's why we're having these snowball effects. Okay. So I want to talk, I wanted to leave that with you. If you have more questions of course you can email me but um, I just thought it was important to bring this one to everyone's attention right now I'm still going to do that video when I finish my um, these kind of seminars I'm going through and a, a video I'm going to put on the Liberty uh, Tree Fellowship website okay so I'll let you know but this one look into it there's many different forms you can get it in so everyone stay well God bless and I will see you next time